What's going on everybody and welcome to part two of our Highlight 3 and slash Highlight 2018 tutorial series. In this video what we're going to do is start adding some logic to our bot uh, to hopefully get it to not move so randomly and maybe move with a purpose. So uh, I'm going to start doing this uh, locally. So if you want to follow along locally, uh, just go to the learn tab here and then downloads, and then download the Python 3 version for your operating system. When you do that, you will get something that looks like this. Um, and this is the file that we're gonna be modifying, the mybot file. So, uh, so go ahead and do that, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the reason why I really wanna do this is because logging doesn't seem to work as well on the web editor for some reason. Like I don't actually get all my log output on the web editor. Whereas locally, when I do logging.info, I get it. And you can't print uh, with the uh, you know built-in uh, web editor because of the way Highlight is actually processed. You're gonna it's gonna it's gonna see those things that you print and think that's an input to the game engine and it's not. So anyways, we're gonna start working locally. So um, and then this file is, is exactly the same file you get if you download it. I just removed basically all the comments because we went through everything. I only left this one because it's important to remember that this is where the two second timer begins. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And um, basically our, our main issue here is that our ships are just moving randomly uh, to collect halite. And now what I wanna do is start moving um, towards halite instead. So um, after a quick, you know, kind of poking around the documentation, um, I found that every ship, you know, a ship has a position and from that position, you can, so from any position, so it's not a, it's not a ship attribute. It is a method of any position you could need. So, um, so from any position, you can do a dot get surrounding cardinals. So that means get the north, south, west and east so you can get um, that the information not only the position of those positions but also the you can use that to start figuring out okay well how much halite is at each of those positions so you could start at your ship's position and be like okay what are the surrounding cardinals here where is the the best halite in the next closest move i could possibly make and that's what we're going to do but you could later you know kind of expand that out as as many iterations as you could possibly handle and then choose the direction that is the most advantageous to you probably taking into some consideration the other ships that you've got um, but yeah so anyways uh, we're gonna we're gonna make use of this uh, this method here so coming back over to our bot for ship in me.get ships the first thing that we want to do is our choices to move because each ship can only move like for each turn each ship can only move once, like one position, and it can only go up, down, left, right. So we have choices. So choices will be ship.position. So ship.position is that position object. And then we can do the dot get surrounding, uh, what was it, get surrounding cardinals. Yeah, so we can get those surrounding cardinals. Now what we can do is, and in fact, I think I might, Less than. I might I might have us actually keep this logic. This is probably pretty good starting logic here. Um, but we don't necessarily want to move randomly. But the next thing I'd like to do is let's just do a if game dot turn number equals fifteen. We're gonna logging dot info choices. So at turn 15, we're going to save a bunch of choices. Now let's just run this game really quick. So to run it, you can look at this run game batch file. And in fact, this should work right out of the box because we've kept our name as mybot.py. So you could either run it right from here, or you could, you know, like you could modify it and then just, you just double click this, or you can just open a command, you know, dot exe and run it. But I'm just going to double click it. That was pretty quick. Um, and I also don't see any real errors. Let me do that again. <laughs> okay, so I think we're hitting some sort of error here. So let me go ahead and just copy this. I wanna actually see the error. So I'm gonna open up command prompt. Let's run this real quick. Uh, 
Oh, okay, some sort of Python issue about tabs, and so I just put it. I just installed um, Sublime Text. Let's see. So I'm pretty sure we're the ones. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know what the option is in. Uh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Indent using spaces maybe. Woo. Okay. Now I got it. Okay, now we just gotta find the rest of them. So it looks like this one might be the last one. Okay! <laughs> now let's try again, run game. Okay, it looks like it works. So whenever a game runs, uh, you get your logging information comes here. So if we click on one of these, we'll see indeed at turn 15, we got the positions, the cardinal positions at the you know surrounding cardinals per ship. And uh, we should have gotten the same thing for bot one. Yeah, there it is. Um, also, uh, whenever you run, you also get replays in here. And some of these are error logs from before. So in fact, let me just delete those. And then let's just run this one more time so we get the right log. So now going into replays, we can see we got a replay and then we get error logs for each of the bots. So I'll click on this and this just currently just contains warnings about um, about our ships. So for example, each time your ship moves, it needs to exhaust halite. Um, so in this case, it was directed to use four halite so it could move south, but only had zero halite. So the ship could no longer move, for example. So anyway, uh, closing out of that, we've got a replay. And if you want to watch your replay, you can just go in here, click watch, and then just click and drag the replay anywhere on that page. And boom, here's our replay. Uh, the other thing we can do is change our theme, which I'm going to do now, to, ooh, there's a new theme. So there's colorblind, halite 2, which is what I had been using, and then roguelike. I'm not sure what that does, besides apparently not let us change it immediately. Interesting, it's like, uh, I've never heard of roguelike before, um, but it looks like ASCII or something stuff. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go with uh, halite 2, though. Drag that in. Okay. So, yeah, because with roguelike, roguelike, how could you, you can't see the actual halite. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there. Anyway, um, cool. So now that, that's basically kind of the workflow that I tend to use, at least when I'm starting. Eventually, if I'm just tweaking little things, I'll just go to play, copy and paste my code in, and, and look at it really quick there and make quick tweaks. But as long as I want to log info, um, I'm going to do it locally. So, okay, so now that we've got the get surrounding cardinals, uh, the next thing that we want to do is um, get the halite for those surrounding cardinal positions. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the uh, next tutorial. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.